Here we are for the maiden voyage of the HMCS Hunker Down. We are going to be camping on it tonight. We're just going to launch into Wabaman Lake here and let's get this party started. Okay, we've got everything loaded up onto the camping platform. We do have little trusses to put up and shelter to, to put up on here, but it's gonna be a good night of camping. We got a lot of gear, we'll get this more organized. We're gonna get it out on the river, set everything up, and then we got good meals to cook. We got some exploring to do, then we'll just drop anchor and it's gonna be a great night. And yes, that's a fire pit on there. so far. It is a bit of wind today so that could make things a little bit interesting but I've seen a lot worse. But yeah. Goodbye shore. We are into the lake now. Have to adjust the trim on the motor here because it's really pushing the front end down. Those diverters kind of help when we're putting along, but they don't do a whole lot when we give her. We're going to try and clear off this floor here because we got all these upright structures, and this one is marked. got these D pins in here that are holding our uh, rafters into these uh, joist hangers. It's kind of what we had so we're working with with our resources but that clears up the floor space here a bit and beautiful beautiful day on the lake. And who should arrive but our friend, Captain John. Been a great consultant with this build. Out of sheer coincidence, the dock lines up with our deck on the boat here just perfectly. Can't ask for better than that. Cool. 
So with the roof all on, it's the first time we did it and we wanted to be sure that we weren't in the middle of the lake when we tried it. But we're not gonna camp here at these docks. There's actually a buoy out across the lake out there. And the, uh, the camp operator, Tim, we ran into him this morning and he's a subscriber. And he let us know about uh, everything here in the campground and uh, we're just parking there for free. And uh, we found out about that little buoy over there to tie up to. So we're gonna head over and start making some steak on the lake. We're going to travel with this part on because it's a hassle to take on and off. The front and back panels come off super easy. So we'll remove those so we can sail over there and we'll tie up and everything will be all right. Next stop is our buoy that we're going to tie to for the night. So yeah, there was a big bay liner tied up here all summer. They just set these uh, buoys up. And then he has a little runabout that he takes back to shore and stuff. So we're gonna, he's gone for the year. We're gonna tie onto these. And my rule on knots is tie a lot of them or learn how to tie knots. We'll, we'll look at that again later. But uh, yeah, we'll just drift around here and we're gonna start cooking some dinner. Beautiful sunset. Question of the day I know I'm gonna get. Yeah, we got life jackets, two of them. We're not required to wear them 24 seven, but we are required to have enough on the boat for each person. And we've got our emergency kit with flashlights, whistles, rope, uh, all that sort of stuff. It comes in a kit, a little bailing bucket. I don't know what we bail here, but yeah, we'll just go through the boat here and show you how it's gonna work tonight. So inside we've got our cots. We are got our baked potatoes on to enjoy with our steak on the lake. A uh, little cooler setup. We're running a propane cylinder there and we're going to be using that with a Mr. Buddy heater at night. And we have a fire pit that we could throw on as well, and we just might do that. Up here we have a nice little light that I've brought with me on some other adventures. And this we're probably going to put outside at night for our anchor light. Because you need a 360 degree visible light above the cab, or the cabin on the boat. But going to head back out here. It's really a beautiful little cove. The winds died down so that's great. There's a train that goes by fairly frequently right over there so we'll hear a little bit of noise with that. And yeah the good people of the world have their cabins there. And we have our floating shack down shack. Wonderful, wonderful autumn evening. And step two on the boat today is Pepsi with nothing else in it. I know it's strange, but we're not fully legal to be able to drink on this thing as a houseboat. That'll require a few more upgrades for next year and a designated sailor. So I don't want any problems, uh, especially with liquor and vehicles. So. It is going to be a sober night of hunkering down on the lake with a delicious Pepsi. Hmm. Tastes strange without rum in it, but 
it is what it is. Crazy neighbor is just having a little siesta. And yeah, I know I'm gonna get flack for cooking this corn in the can, but got corn and baked potatoes on there, and I'm throwing on a steak later. I normally don't eat steak, but we're celebrating because we launched the craft, and I like saying steak on the lake, so it's awesome. I know we're gonna have some concerns about cooking in here. We bring a carbon monoxide alarm with us, and that's if there's any issues, it'll it'll go off for us. And the heater we're using, it has a low oxygen shut off as well, but with all the drafts coming through, that's not a concern at all. We're we got lots of ventilation in this little shack. And we got our portable propane fire pit. After I cook up the steak, we're gonna go out there and have a little fire on the deck. Then turn in for the night. Uh, sober, but warm and cozy. how hungry I was but this is well needed after a day of setting this thing up and going all over the river or the lake sorry that looks about okay look at this puny little fire here that's all it wants to do for me so I'm gonna have to take this apart and look at it because I want some nice big fires when we're pulled over on the river. This will just not do. And good thing we're testing it out on the lake before we're on the river with not much of a fire. Alright, I'm tired so I'm gonna hit the hay right now and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, time for this guy to hunker down. Okay, morning finds us well. That was a really nice sleep. It was uh, very calm in the water overnight. We've got, uh, I'm still in, still in bed, but uh, we got this panel off and we're gonna go for a little cruise on this lake while the water's still nice and nice and uh, smooth here. Because what, uh, what a great sleep and what a perfect day to be on this lake. Time to start the day. Yeah, this was a good little tie-up for the night. We came into the small town of Wabamin and we had to, I wanted to get a coffee but the place was closed, the other one was too far of a walk. This craft was pretty good. It blends in real well when you look at it from across the water. We had a friend of ours send us a picture that he took of us and it just looks like a dock or a part of a dock. You can't even really see it so that's pretty sweet. So we're going to adjust the trim on the motor so it's not pushing the nose down so far. Then we're going to be back out on the lake and we'll see where the day goes. We may have to paddle out, but... 
well that we can we can do made it over to the campground part this is clearly not an official boat launch but we actually managed to pull up through the weeds here into the campground side of things and there's a little picnic tables and stuff that blends in so good this truly is actually a stealth camping river camping boat I don't know but it, it sure looks inconspicuous I would say Cooking bacon right on the boat. Didn't bring a little stove, so the barbecue's working just fine for this pan frying that. Uh, people are gonna ask, why aren't we catching fish on this lake and eating them for dinner? This is a catch and release only lake. You're not allowed to eat anything out of here. There was a train derailment and a bunch of wood preservatives spilled in to this lake a few years ago, so it's nothing I really want to chance anyways. But do have to give a big shout out to people who have sent uh, sent some stuff. Steph and Scott, Steph's with Haunted Hamilton. She sent me this awesome t-shirt for Haunted Hamilton. If you're in Hamilton, they do haunted tours and stuff, so it's nice to keep me warm. They also provided a little beer we didn't bring on this trip and uh, probably will be involved in the christening of this boat on the next trip. We're not christening it here because from all the nautical people I've talked to, uh, a little bit of alcohol on the bow is a requirement. Uh, you don't have to smash a big champagne bottle, but it's just very accepted that it has to happen. And they're real sticky about liquor here at the boat launch. So we're not doing it here. We'll do it for the river. And bacon and beans for breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. I got this turned on high. I'm not sure. Well, I got the fire pit going. That would have been real sweet last night, but it'll do for this afternoon. A nice little fire pit on the lake, cook up some hot dogs or some brats on it, and it'll all be good. Beans and bacon for breakfast. It doesn't get any better than that. I guess beer, but no beer on this trip. So we've adjusted our outboard engine a couple of pins up. Uh, the trim on it was kind of pushing the front end down. And this is a displacement hull, uh, which is different than a planing boat. So this should be more appropriate. Wind is picking up a little bit. Saw a few sprinkles of rain. So We'll zip around the lake a little bit to test this outboard out and then we're going to pack up and head back in for the night. Just pulling out now and the rain is really starting to come down. Hmm. Well. With a bit of a storm rolling in, we've decided we're gonna pack up and head back home. But it was a great success. It worked out really good. If you like this video, I'm always up to some weird stuff like this. So please subscribe if you're interested in this type of thing. And if not, uh, you can subscribe also. It doesn't hurt, worth a try. Anyhow, we're unloading and we will be back to town to edit this for the regular Thursday upload. Thanks guys.